Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy with TRS Tarot Talk 1111. I am now on the zodiac sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, this month I'm doing things a little differently because of the eclipse season. So I'm going to take a look at Divine Masculine's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and next action. Take a look at the same with the Divine Feminine. We're going to look at the major energies for masculine and feminine. We're going to look at the unexpected. Um, what are you releasing in this next month from November 15th to December 15th? What is the love potential for this month? And then uh, best way to handle this whole situation. What is the blessing and opportunity within it? And then we're going to get a yes or no answer using my pendulum. At the very end, you will get an opportunity to, to ask any question and get a response from spirit. Take what resonates. Remember, it's a collective reading. You will get advice on the yes or no answer and a timing card. All right, there will be an extended available over in Patreon, which is a paid subscription. It's $4.44 a month, and it is a repeat billing on your credit card each month until you decide to cancel. But you get all 12 extended Zodiacs, and you get exclusive weekly content um, that you don't ever see here on YouTube because it's exclusive, all right? Um, if you resonate with being a twin flame, sacred soulmate, lab partner, whatever, if you're on the ascension and, and healing through a catalyst romantic connection, then these readings should resonate with you. All right, so Taurus, is there anything else I want to say? Yes, um, if you would like to donate to the channel or if you would like to donate a deck of cards, there is a PayPal me link for gratitude or gratuity, um, which helps my channel grow. And there is also the um, Amazon wish list. If you choose a deck off the wish list, when you send it, make sure you send a gift receipt with your email address and one question or topic because I will do a 15 to 20 minute pre-recorded video reading for you in gratitude for your donation. Um, also, make sure you check out my announcement video about the podcast that I'm going to be creating because if you resonate with being a twin flame or a light worker, star seed, psychic, medium, intuitive, whatever, if you are uh, awakening to your ascension and spiritual gifts, I want to interview you. So check out that um, announcement video to see if it's something you would like to participate in. All right, let's get into this. Hold on, let me get a drink. My mouth is so sore. I have a tooth that broke and my tongue keeps rubbing on that sharp piece. So if you hear me talking weird. All right, let's take a look here at the major energies for Taurus, please, spirit. Taurus, what is the major energy? Now, in this portion, I've noticed that it could go both ways. So um, I'm going to get one over here for masculine, one over here for feminine, but sometimes the energies shift. I don't know why, but energies do. So divine masculine, please. What do I need for divine masculine? And Divine Feminine, please. Apparently, we're digging deep. All right. Let's get these out of the way. What are the major arcana energies between this masculine and feminine? Oh, we have the devil. The feminine's like... And we have the tower. Ooh. All right, Taurus, what are you guys up to? <laughs> What's going on? Let's take a look at, so the bottom of the deck is going to be past energy spirit. I would like to set my intention that the bottom of the deck energies will be the story that's already unfolded. All right, masculine's thoughts from November 15th to December 15th, feelings, intentions, And most likely, next action. 
bottom of the deck is the three of wands. Okay. All right, so we have the three of wands, the three of swords, the nine of pentacles, the eight of cups, and the four of pentacles. Let's take a look at the feminine, please, spirit. Energies for the feminine from November 15th to December 15th. Now, remember, guys, when I say he, she, masculine, feminine, him, her, I'm talking about energy and archetype. I am not talking about the body or the meat suit, okay? Mas divine masculine could be in a feminine body and the feminine could be in a masculine. It doesn't matter. In the tarot, it, we're talking about energy, archetype. What is the divine feminine's current thoughts, feelings, intentions, Ooh, look at her. And actions. Well, this kind of seems a little weird. We've got the four and the five for the actions. Here's two people who have very good intentions and very poor responses. Hmm. All right. So now I set my intention, but remember, this could go either way. But we're looking at the tower for the masculine and the devil for the feminine. So I still feel codependence here. I still feel this attachment from both of you actually attached to this devil energy see the star comes right after a tower so if you're if the tower you know take whichever one resonates with you whether you're divine masculine divine feminine this seems to be the two energies and if you're mirroring each other maybe you embody both but So the past energy under the deck is the Page of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Three of Wands. See, this is all thinking. I wondered. It didn't feel right. I'm thinking, really, this is like the energy that he's in? Because here, this doesn't, this doesn't flow. And then I saw the Page of Swords. So this is thinking. So this masculine has been thinking for a long time. So much that his head's smoking. There's been so many thoughts on his mind. And it's going to be different for everyone because it's a collective reading. But this is... Someone who is... Let me sit in this energy just for a minute. This is just somebody who's been thinking for a long time about how to renew this page of wands, how to reach out, how to communicate and take action. And yet they sit there and they wait. What are they waiting for? A waiting result. See, the three of wands, if I was using any other deck, I would look at this as Somebody who is looking for answers, trying to um, make decisions for the future. But in this deck, it says awaiting results. So there's something with this masculine. So Taurus, if you resonate with knowing that the masculine archetype in this reading is in a third party situation, what I see is that this masculine has been really, 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 really working, chomping hard. See, destined opportunities, thoughts, page of wands, excitement and curiosity. 
Knight of Swords, decisive action, awaiting results. This masculine is waiting for the ending of something. And I think with this Nine of Pentacles and the Three of Swords, Three of Wands, I kind of feel like this masculine could possibly be in a third party situation that he wants to free himself from. Now, if that doesn't resonate with you, this could also be read as the Three of Swords is a broken heart. There's a healing here. And this could be the awakening, right? This could be destined opportunity. That's, you know, the wheel of fortune. And then the deep dive, right? The thinking, the studying, the taking classes, buying self-help books, the ascension, right? Excited and curious and, and, and researching and learning and just falling down those rabbit holes rapidly, like quickly fast ascension but this three of wands feels to me like this masculine is waiting for a destined opportunity <laughs> I'm going to be honest it's like you know He's looking for an opportunity, the perfect moment, the perfect idea, the perfect way to move forward decisively, taking action. And yet there's something that has to happen. There's something here that has to happen. I believe for most of you, it's this masculine is waiting to divorce or to separate or to move away from scarcity mindset see some of this is just you know if you know they're not in a third party situation this is them learning their self-worth learning their value learning how to be an authority in their own life independent of whatever traumas have created within them learning how to emotionally evolve Either way, I'm getting two scenarios. This is like a huge major awakening for one set spiritually, healing their heart, freeing themselves from this these trauma bonds, evolving emotionally around self-worth and confidence, scarcity. If that isn't your story, the next story is third party situation. Somebody who has been waiting for a destined opportunity or a perfect moment in order to watching too with the page of swords, watching, spying, waiting for the perfect moment to come forward with a message. A message by the way about the future. If he's in a third party situation, then he's trying to get out of that, to find independence. In his heart, he already feels like he's single. But in his mind, not so much. This Eight of Cups is the need, this is the intention. The intention is to separate and walk away from this third party situation or to emotionally evolve beyond scarcity. Those are the two scenarios. The tower, the tower is what the energy of the masculine is in. Something is shifting and changing, divine intervention. And because she is the one with the star, the star comes right after the tower. I'm willing to bet that she played a part in this tower. Or this tower was something that affected both of them. Now for her, see, there's that death card. I felt death.
So we've got the Queen of Wands, the Lovers, the Strength card, the Ace of Pentacles, the Death, and the Seven of Wands. Again, I feel like this feminine is healing. She knows her value. She's actually sitting in Now, she's learning healthy boundaries and where to invest her energy. And I think she's learning that through this interaction. It's like Spirit saying what's transforming for her is going from lack mentality to the Queen of Wands, right? To feeling, and the Emperor, the Emperor. See, that's her intentions. Her intentions is that she's healing. She's leveled up she's gone or, or going gone gone she's gone through a transformation it just really feels to me like look at zero point energy queen of wands the lovers strength this is her finding self-mastery through choosing how and when and where to give her love is what it feels like. I think that there was an opportunity here for a new beginning. And this just kind of feels like two people to me who love each other very deeply. And there are obstacles, roadblocks. This is a very, very loving, kind, giving, nurturing, divine feminine who is learning, being taught, transforming, stepping into her own masculine energy. But I think there's a wobble this month. It just feels to me like she's been on a path of transformation. She's been focused on mastering, self-mastery, right? Courage. She's been making better choices in love. She's, this is all the stuff she's done. Queen of Cups, look at, she's just, she's learning so much about who she is and why she became that way. And I think it's through scarcity. This is the bond between these two. It's the mirroring, right? It's the four of pentacles, five of pentacles. It's feeling unwanted, unloved, unchosen, not good enough. It's about self-esteem for both of these. I think this month, her thoughts are literally to heal what is been broken or tore down to replenish after a fall, after an ascension. So she's leveled up, but she's having a wobble this month. Her heart wants to be fair, wants to be generous, wants to give, wants to receive, wants to be balanced. Her intentions are to step up, make firm de decisions, to, to be a leader. But she's having a wobble. They're both having a wobble. Why? What is this wobble? Because it feels to me like she was doing really good and at the end of the month or mid-month, mid-December, there's this feeling, and it's winter too, it's like this feeling of being left out in the cold, being lonely. Feeling attached. Attached. Like she can't get over the separation. <clears throat> and he is holding on for dear life. But both of these are done in this devil energy. It's codependence. It's two people who are still ascending still
healing, still trying to find their way to one another. But there are obstacles and challenges and there are lessons on this journey. And I think that the Divine Feminine is going to be challenged with her codependency, her, her going back to old cycles, to old ways of being, the, the way she used to be before she found her strength. It's a wobble is all. It's not going to last. It's just a wobble. The masculine is trying to clear out a cycle of codependence. I think he might be codependent, co-existing, co-creating <clears throat> with someone else. Doesn't have to be a woman or, or a I'm sorry, because gender don't matter. It doesn't have to be a counterpart. Romantic. Could be family, friends, job, career. But it feels like a third-party situation for a lot of you. I just think that both of you are really evolving. Evolving. Finding control. That's your intention, right? It's what you want to do. It's what you're trying to do. It's what you've been working on. But there's a wobble at, at, at the end or during this time, I would say the action, because his action is to repeat the cycle of not feeling good enough, not feeling worthy, feeling lack, feeling scarcity, and hers too. Right? Hers are obstacles, challenges, and feeling unworthy, lonely, forgotten. I'm hearing forgotten. And this is the devil. This is the fears. This is the codependency. This is the old pattern, which spirit is trying to disrupt. How, though? Let's look at your other cards to see how, because I don't want to clarify here. I'm going to do that in the extended, but I want to know how. How is spirit trying to disrupt this pattern? What is coming in unexpected, please? Two from this part of the deck. Two cards only, please, spirit. There's one. One more from this deck, this side of the deck, please. Just one. Thank you. Bottom of the deck is the lily, spiritual love. See, this is two people very connected in the 5D. Very connected, but it feels like in the 3D, there's separation. This is two people missing each other is what it feels like. Let me get two from this half of the deck, please, Spirit. Two for what is unexpectedly happening this month that my viewer doesn't expect. There's one. Can I get one more? Thank you. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck is the casket. We did have the death card. Someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. This is a breakup. I don't know if it's going to last, though. We'll see. Because we have chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. This is a breakup. This, is, this masculine is walking away. His intention is to walk away for now. Because in his heart, he wants to be free. He wants to be independent. I think he just ended a very big cycle in his life whereby he was codependent with someone else. And he's finding his freedom and he is exercising for the wrong reason. The wobble for him is not feeling good enough. So he is emotionally withdrawing. Empty chair, casket. We have dog barking, advice from a friend. That could be for both of you or either or. We have pig, beware of greed. And we have apple, temptation will test you. See, you're being tempted. This is temptation. This is two people. <clears throat> A major test this month around their trauma because I think both have grown and evolved and this is practice is what it feels like 
practice. Practice, practice, practice. Temptation will test you. And right there's the devil. Hmm. This is separation, it feels like, for this month, guys. But in these situations, it's always a test. It's just a test, right? So much evolution and, and evolving. So much time. I feel like there's been a big time lapse whereby these two people haven't seen each other in the physical or... Maybe even communicated. I don't know. I see him thinking about it a lot. To the point where he's got smoke coming off the top of his head. Looking for the perfect opportunity. But I think that perfect opportunity for him, for most of you, is to get out of another situation. To finally walk away and become free. I think this is going to devastate the feminine. It's going to bring her back into this old cycle of feeling abandoned. Not good enough. There could be communication or maybe already was communication. Where this masculine decided to, to withdraw. To focus on Some sort of an ending. Tower moment. So, wow. Okay, I'll get to the bottom of it over in the extended, but let's just get some advice now. So what are they releasing? This is a wobble, guys. You're going to be tested. Will you go back to your toxic codependent behaviors? Or will you be able to stand in your power Will you be able to emotionally withdraw? Will you be able to speak your truth? Stand in what you've learned? This is going to test you. It's going to test you. What are you releasing this month for the masculine? Surrender your attachment to the results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen. Then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. Holding on too tightly. Four of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is surrender to your full power. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. Tell me about the Divine Feminine. What is she surrendering during Eclipse? Well, during this month for the Eclipse. Yes, yeah, surrender your desire to control people. See, control, it's the first word here with the emperor. Being over-controlling can sabotage relationships. To more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, give the situation some breathing room. I think this masculine's asking for space, even if it's just energetically spiritual love. Doesn't even have to be verbally, it could be energetically. He has withdrawn his energy. But he's looking to the future. He's trying to, to cycle something out. He's learned something. He's had a tower moment. This is going to trigger her in that old... Look, at it even looks like the devil, don't it? That old devil energy of... Um, there's the snake. The desire to control the outcome. Bottom of the deck is... Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. There's so much here around power and control and self-mastery. And we have all the oranges, which is the, the uh, sacral chakra. Um, guys, if you're the divine feminine, you're about to get triggered in an old wound of abandonment. 
and it comes in after you've done so much healing and you've done it's going to be a wobble it's going to be a temp you're going to be very tempted to fall into the old victim mentality and the masculine is also look at control control or surrender your attachment to the results surrender to your full power there, there's this balancing here that needs to happen between this masculine's desire to, to manipulate outcomes and yet still be able to use his free will to choose how to move forward. There needs to be a balance here between push and pull. And there's a wobble. Both of you will be tempted or tested this month. And it's a good thing because I think it's because you've come so far, right? You've learned so much. Spirit's like, hmm, let's just see how quickly, because we all, you're always going to get triggered. There will always be triggers. That past trauma never goes away. But through this journey of healing, we learn how to balance it, bring it back to balance so much faster, bring it back to that, that neutrality, that flexibility that zero point energy this and that are both true what is the love potential for this month what is the love potential for this month please love potential between these two what is the energy of love between these two for this month please love between these two for this month one more pass spirit love between these two for this month potential Yeah, not a whole lot, is there? <laughs> so we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And that's, you know, kind of like uh, the, the spirit. This is 5D stuff going on. We have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. This is not done. This is devil energy. Passion. Control. The need to... to to make things happen the need to <coughs> control i just keep hearing control there's healings that have happened and there's going to be a test a divine test and because the attraction is so strong it's going to be hard to control yourself and the most likely outcome or action here is to fall back into the old patterns of feeling abandoned or scarcity mindset clinging to outcomes clinging to beliefs outdated beliefs about self-value so what is the best way for taurus to handle this this month what is the best way for taurus to handle this how should they handle this energy this month what is the best way to handle this All right, we have look deeper. Things are not always as they appear. Take a closer look. Yes, because this is a test. We interrupt your programming for an emergency broadcast test. It's just a test, guys. It's not look deeper. Look beyond the surface. There's more here to heal. Spirit's trying to bring it to the surface with a tower moment. To show its face and to be healed and cleared. Dig deeper. Look deeper. We have temptation again. Temptation. Oh. Temptation may knock. Don't be afraid to answer. Proceed with caution. Don't be afraid to answer, okay? You can do this. This is going to be a wobble, but you're going to come back so much faster. We have burdens release the burdens you've been carrying give them to your angels and we have transform transform yourself from who you are to who you want to be exactly you're going to be tested all the things you've learned about your self-worth about your ability to co-create your ability to love unconditionally all of those things are going to be tested <laughs> don't be afraid to show up for the test and Make decisions. Come back to your center quicker. Quicker. 
All right, I'm going to give you an opportunity to yeah, ask a... Actually, I'm sorry, I forgot your blessing. Let's get the blessing and opportunity, the door that this will open for these two, or for the viewer, whatever you want to give, Spirit, for November 15th to December 15th. Wow, we got two. We have passages, spiritual signs of inclination. You're walking through passages of your transformation. Yep, this is a rite of passage, guys. If you pass this test, you move to the next level. We have begin here. Do not fear what travel brings, my dear. The moment is yours. Begin now here. Okay, passage. You're about to embark on a new part of your journey, and Spirit's testing you. Are you ready? Bottom of the deck is distant dream. The distance calls your heart to roam free. As you dare dream it, so must it be. Three of Wands, that's the distance, that's the future. To roam free, independence. As you dare dream it. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. This is about manifesting. All right, now we're going to get you, that's your doors, that's your passages, right? That's your, your next opportunity from this. Okay, so show up. Make sure you show up. I'm going to count down from five to one. I would like you to ask any question, yes or no. This is a collective yes or no, so it's going to answer the majority. So if it doesn't resonate with you, don't be afraid to chuck it. However, <clears throat> the majority should resonate. Any question, yes or no. Five, four, three, Two, one. Yes or no? Yes or no, Spirit? Yes or no? So I've got to know. I don't know what you asked, but let's get you advice on your answer. If it doesn't resonate, it's okay. It's a collective no. Tell me advice around this answer. What is the advice around this no? What is the advice? We have within the next few weeks, if you communicate clearly, listen to your intuition. So this, again, is about manifestation. Be very, very precise in what you're asking for, whether it be from a person, a situation, or the universe. Listen to your intuition, communicate clearly, and know that no is temporary it's only going to be for a couple of weeks or there will be a resolution in a couple of weeks what is the timing on this even though we already got one what do you have to say around timing for this yes or no we have false start will return and the bottom of the deck is on the horizon manifesting i told you this is all about testing alignment vibration this is about universal alignment are you vibrationally in um, alignment with spiritual love with the ascension with overcoming your addictions or your old patterns your abandonment wounds your need to control your Carnal, for some of you, it's sex. Not everybody, but for some of you, it is. It's being tempted to do something for the wrong reasons. And that reason is chemistry, passion, addiction, quantum entanglement. This is spiritual love, right? High-level soulmate. All right, so... I hope this resonates. If I've been telling your story, if it does feel like it's you and you would like to follow me over to Patreon in order to get your extended, um, the link is in the description box below. I'm going to clarify the thoughts, the, all of this, all of the tarot will be clarified. I may even throw, I might throw a card on this greed And the test, just to see. I know sometimes spirit won't tell us, but I might. Um, 
I'm going to clarify all the tarot and what is the test? What is the test? I'm pretty sure I already know. For the masculine, the test is to go back to an old way, an old scarcity belief that, you know, it could be around money, finances. It could be the un inability to release an outcome. This is could be just a preconceived notion about <clears throat> his future that he needs to to expand beyond. Hers is definitely a trauma around abandonment and self worth. So I don't know if I need to, but I'll look at the test anyhow, because it's going to be a tower. It's divine intervention, divinely orchestrated. All right. I love you. I will see you over on Patreon. And if this is where we part ways, I hope to see you next month um, when I upload. And don't forget to go check out my announcement about the podcast. I'm running a, I guess, like a contest to help come up with um, a name and a trademark, like a banner for the, the, you know, like a mission graphic that can be used in every thumbnail. The, the title will change, but the, the trademark graphic will stay the same. So if you'd like to participate in that, all the information's in that video, and I will see you on the other side. Namaste.